Hey, hello. Welcome to Cloudy. If you're on this page, it means you have not set up your Amazon Web Service account yet. And this is crucial and very, very important before you start sending emails with Cloudy. So the first step is to create your account. To do that, you have to go to aws at amazon.com and you will see a page something like this. So what you should do on the top right, click on the button. You come to this page. So what we're going to do is, uh, in my case, I'm going to create with this email, but you have to use your own email, whatever the email is you want. In this case, if you already have an account, you can log in. But right now, most of you, you don't have an account, so we create a new user. Here, uh, in our case, we're going to put our name. Uh, you can put your company name. It's up to you. And here, you have to repeat the same email. Let's do that. And you have to put your password. Um, let's do that as well. Here. And click on the create account button. It will take you to this page. Uh, you can create a company account if you want, or you can create a personal, depending on your date. In our case, we just create a company account. Full name. In your case, you have to just go with whatever it makes sense to you. City uh, is our house. State is also our house. I still can't use ID here. Okay, here you have to put your phone number because you will need to use it since you did it. Here. You have to put the security code to make sure you're not a boat. Uh, I believe it's none of this. Sometimes it happens, you get it wrong, you can click on this refresh image to get to a new one. You have to agree. Now end, click. Here, you have to put your credit card number. Uh, Amazon will ask you to put your credit, number, credit card number to verify you. Uh, they do not take any charge money. Uh, you just you just verify it. So you can go ahead and put your number. So let me do that as well right here. So once, so this step is very important. Uh, once after you have put your card, you come to this page. The purpose of this page is Amazon needs to verify you by calling your number. So you have to give your mobile number here, like I did here. And again, you have to make sure you have put the same security image to prove you're not a bot or something. So at this time, you have to keep your phone close to you click on this button and they will call you. So right now Amazon is calling me and I have to verify this number on the phone. So as soon as you put the type the number, once the call is, you are, they will verify your account. Then you can go ahead and choose a support plan. Since you're using Cloud, you don't need the support, you just have to do the basic, which is free. And click on continue. Uh, let's wait a second. Oh, yeah. So we go top right up, we click on the complete sign up. That should complete our sign up and you should be able to log in to your account, hopefully. Yes. Now I will log in. Here's something you should keep in mind. Uh, try to, on the top right, try to change, the re it'll ask you to change your region to make sure it's Ireland. You can choose any region, but it's better to Ireland because our servers are based in Europe. 
in this region. So if you choose the same region, it's the best. It's preferable. So next step is we signed up for simple email service. You can either type SES, you will get this, and you click. This is what you are faced with once you create your account. One thing you have to know about Amazon Simple Email Service is when you create your account, you are by default, as you can read here, you will be in a sandbox. So first step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna request sending limit increase because you want to send emails, so this is what we're gonna do. You can have to click on this blue button, and what we do is just a second. I'm getting some messages. We can disturb them. Okay. So here, what we are doing is we're trying to uh, appeal to Amazon to take us out of the sandbox. So make sure you select the middle service limit increase, and the first one sending limits. We want to increase the sending limits. Here, you choose again the same region, Ireland, and limit daily. Daily is sending. Desired data center quota, right? So <clears throat> imagine you have a list of 5,000, right? Then you have to, this is not monthly, this is daily. Then ask for double the amount because your, your list keeps increasing. The good thing with Amazon is you can start with um, the stand, but is you perform better? And what they will do is they will increase you automatically. So if you have a five, we always ask people, advise people to double their. You know whatever the list is. In in our case, we ask for fifty thousand. This is we were asking Amazon to let us send fifty thousand emails a day. We add another request, which is in the same region, but this time we choose the maximum send rate. So this is the number of emails you can send per second. In this case, we say we are applying for hundred per second, which is you know it's a good range. Here. <clears throat> but depending on what you use uh, Cloudy for, you can choose what kind of email you, you want to send. And most of the time, it's marketing emails, which is you send to your listeners or readers, you know, weekly emails. This is what we're going to choose as well. Here, you have to show your URL. In our case, it's cloudy.email. In your case, you should um, you should use your own website. So, because it's, it's, it will help Amazon to go and check um you know what you do and it also affects if you approve you or not most of the time it is it's, you just have to put your website so next thing is you have to agree amazon sending policies you have to read them since i've already read them i'm not going to read again but i encourage you to read in a nutshell what they are telling to tell you is do not buy or sell lists do not send spam emails only send to those people who actually Actively requested email from you. Most of the time, it's either signed up on your uh, on your website, or you have these are your customers who actually said okay to receive emails, right? Um, it, again, as you can see, they are confirming you are sending emails only to people who really want. And here, uh, what you're asking is if you have a um, process to, because you know once you send emails, sometimes you get complaints and because you get bounces, right? So in this case, you says yes, yes, because you're using Cloudy, luckily, and we automatically get uh, took uh, took care of those things. We'll come to that back in a bit later, but we'll automatically do that. You don't have to worry about. It. In this case, you can write something like, "Hello, AWS team. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna write we, uh, or you can say just put your website. In our case, now is a." Uh, and email marketing software um, we want to send uh, for example weekly emails to our 50,000 you know subscribers Subs subscribers um, let us Thank you. You know, uh, usually they reply within 24 hours. Most of the time, it's approved unless you don't have a website or I don't know. Most of the time, they approve pretty fast. We are happy with their service so far. And just click the web and click submit. So what really happens now is Amazon is gonna look into your account, and it will get back to you in 24 hours. Meanwhile. What we're gonna do is something 
important. So you click on this cube on the top left again, you come to this page, and search for something called SNS, Push Notification Service. Uh, uh, sorry, not this one. I think it's something called I am. I am. So what we are doing now is we're giving access, programmatic access to clouding to set up some things that you're ready from your account to send via clouding. So the first thing is we go to policies, uh, click the policies and click this blue button, create a policy. Uh, from here, you have to choose the last one, which is create your own policy. Here you can say cloudy. In this one, you have to, we will provide just below this video, what you're watching will provide a template which you have to copy and paste. In my case, it is ready. Uh, hopefully it should be somewhere here. This is the code I'm gonna copy um, here. And that's a create policy. That's it, it's done. The next step is creating a user. Add user, the same name, just give the same name, Cloudy. And as you can see, we're getting a programmatic access. So what actually you are doing is you're getting a program access to, um, to manage the sending email part from your account. And one, on this page, you have to do existing policy. We, as you remember, we created the previous step. And you click this box, you have to come here review and uh, create user that's it so one thing you remember is here try to so if you remember in the previous step right when we started you had you actually you need two things access key id and the second key id and in this case this are the access key id and the second key ID, as you can see you have to copy the first one and paste it here. And the next one, I'm gonna copy the next one. Uh, it's here, sorry. You should copy show, it's selected. You can control C or command C, depending on if you're on Windows or Mac. So you do this, this part and click on save. At this point, your job is done. And if you have any questions, you can always reach, reach us via, via chat on our website. And as long as you click on the save, and since it's a test mode right now, we don't have this button, but you will see this button will be there. You click on it. From there, it may take up to 24 hours. Your account gets approved by Amazon. And here on the left side, we'll update you how many you can send per day and how many you can send per second. From there on, you'll be able to send. I hope you enjoyed this um, short video. If you have any questions, you can always reach us at uh, hello at cloudy email, or you can chat with us on our website. Thank you for your attention, and see you on the other side. Thank you. Bye-bye.